Welcome back to Karen's Kitchen. Today we're going to make some sugar cookie bars. I have one and a quarter cup of butter softened to room temperature and two and a half cups of sugar. We're going to get these creaming together in the mixer. You always want to make sure you cream your butters and sugars together first. We're going to get that going quick and we're going to scrape the bottom after a few seconds. We want this to be nice and fluffy. Just gonna scrape the bottom. I got a chunk up there yet. You just wanna make sure you're getting all the way to the bottom of your bowl. If you like sugar cookies with the icing on, you're gonna love these. They're so easy and so delicious. So I'm going to let this cream together for a good 30 seconds or so because I want that to be nice and fluffy. Alright, I'm going to add in two and a half teaspoons of baking powder, a teaspoon of salt, about three eggs. We're just going to keep the mixer going while we've added all these things. Three teaspoons of vanilla extract. And then once I've got my vanilla in here, I'm going to whip that up a bit more so it's Mix is nice. Just gonna scrape the sides and the bottom yet before I add in my flour. And I have five cups of flour that I'm going to add. I'm going to add while my key beetle is up here. Don't start your mixer too quick because your flour will fly out. So I'm just going to start that on low for a minute. Now we've got that um, starting to mix together. A faster. Such a quick, easy bar to make. You want it to come all together. And it is very crumbly right now, but you do want it to come together. You might need to scrape the bottom of your bowl one more time yet. Because you do want that to be, you have to press it into your pan, so it has to be mixed well. Alright. This is in nice chunks, so there's my dough. Okay, see that nicely mixed together. There's no dry ingredients at the bottom of the pan. And we're going to get this into a cookie sheet. I always like to adjust all my bar recipes to fit the nice big Costco cookie sheets, the 12 by 17 by one inch thick. So I've, I've played with this recipe a few times and I've got the ratios nice for your, between your bar and the icing. So if you have a nice big cookie sheet like that, this is the way to go. So I'm going to get this into my cookie sheet. All right, so just get all your dough pressed into your cookie sheet, nice and even. And we're gonna bake this in a 350 degree oven for 20 to 25 minutes until it's nice and golden. And then we're gonna get an icing, our icing prepared for it. All right, uh, I'm just gonna get my icing ready now while I have some time. My bars are almost done in the oven, but we have to make sure those cool completely before we put the icing on. But I am gonna get it ready ahead of time while I have a bit of time. I have one cup of butter, which is softened to room temperature. If it's not room temperature, just put it in the microwave for 20 seconds or so, just to get it nice and soft. So we're gonna get our butter creaming together with our four cups of icing sugar. Start your mixer off slowly because that icing sugar is going to poop up a little bit there. Right. And this is 
also going to take two teaspoons of vanilla. My cap measures about a teaspoon. And you're going to need up to six tablespoons of milk, which is about a third of a cup. So I'm just going to slowly add that until it comes together. this whipping for a bit because we want this to be nice and fluffy. So we're probably going to mix it for a good, a good minute and don't forget to scrape your bowl partly through. All right, nice and soft and creamy. I'm going to add a little bit of food coloring. Pick whatever color you like. I've done blue, pink, you can do green or yellow. You don't need a lot when you have this paste kind. I'm just going to stick it onto the bottom of my um, K beater there and that little bit is going to mix in to everything. Scrape your bowl because that very very bottom is going to still be a bit white. you give that one more mix you'll be ready for when the bars are cooled off and ready to be topped all right I just pulled the bars out nice and golden don't get them too dark because then they'll get a little bit too dry so we're gonna let this cool completely before we put our icing on top all right so get your icing spread on here and when you're done, add a few little sprinkles, makes it look really pretty. Give these bars a try. It makes a nice big batch, very easy. They also freeze really, really well. They're not going to last in, in your house. They're just, they disappear very quickly around here. So I'll give this recipe a try. There it is on the card.